Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Xbox 360 achievements and then add them to some game that you've already played. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need Horizon, XDBF Manager, and then this is really optional but if I were you I'd get one. Um, you're going to want to have a 64x64 64 64 PNG image. And this image that you get will just be the thumbnail for the achievement that you create. So once you have these three things, go ahead and open up Horizon and I'll provide a download link for both Horizon and XDBF Manager in the description of this video. So once Horizon loads, just go over to the Device Explorer and wait for your hard drive or USB to load. And once it's loaded, just go down to Gamer Profiles and then select your profile. Then just go up here and hit this little gear which will open it in the Package Manager. Once it's loaded in the Package Manager, just go over to the Contents tab and what you're going to want to do here is extract the GPD for the game that you want to add an achievement to. Well, I want to add an achievement to Halo Reach. So what I need to do is find the title ID for Halo Reach. So I need to go up to Tools, Title ID Finder, and then just search for Halo uh, Reach. And then once I find it, just right here, just go ahead and click Copy Title ID. And the name of all GPDs is the title ID for that game dot GPD. So I can just go ahead and search for the title ID and I should get the Halo Reach GPD right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and extract that um, to my desktop. And the other GPD that I need to extract is the dashboard GPD. And the name of that is just FFFEO7D1.GPD. So once you find that, just go ahead and extract that to your desktop as well. Alright, so once you've got both those GPDs extracted, go ahead and minimize Horizon and open up XDBF Manager. Once it loads, just go to File, Open, and then select the Game GPD first. So I extracted the GPD for Halo Reach, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one. So I open it up, and it should just load all the entries uh, for this GPD. But that's not really what we're concerned with. We want to add an achievement to this game. So what we need to do is go up to Entries, Add New, and then just make sure Achievement is selected, and press Continue. And then once you do that, you should get a dialog that looks like this. And just go ahead and fill out this dialog. So what do you want the name of your achievement to be? I'll just make it Adam's Achievement. Um, locked description, uh, Adam was here. And the unlocked description is gonna, just going to be Congrats. And you can obviously make the locked, unlocked description and name anything that you want. All right, and then up here is you're going to want to type in the gamer score for the achievement. So how much gamer score do you want to be earned um, once you unlock this achievement? I'll just make it one, but you can make it 99,000 or anything that you really want. And then here's the type. Um, this doesn't really matter, so you can make it anything that you want. I'll just leave it as completion for right now. And then secret achievement. Um, a secret achievement basically means that the achievement locked description cannot be seen by the gamer uh, until they unlock the achievement. And I'm just going to go ahead and not make it a secret achievement. And then finally, if you want to provide a thumbnail for your achievement, uh, just go ahead and make sure this checkbox is checked and open up that image. And again, the thumbnail image has to be 64 by 64 and it needs to be a PNG image. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up this one. And once you have all this information filled out, you can go ahead and add this new achievement that you created. So we just added this achievement to our GPD, and let's just make sure that I actually added it. So it should be the last GPD in the listing down here, or I mean the last uh, achievement in the listing down here, so it should be uh, this one right here. I open it up, and sure enough, uh, this is the achievement that we just created. If you want, you can go ahead and unlock the achievement, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as locked for right now. All right. So now we're all done um, tampering with the uh, game GPD. So we can just go ahead and close it. The last thing that we need to do is just mess with the dashboard GPD. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that in this program. All right, and basically what we need to do is edit the title entry for Halo Reach. So we just need to go back into Horizon and see what the title ID was for Halo Reach and it is 45308.5b. So we basically just need to find um, the title entry that has that ID. So 45308.5b. So this is the title entry for Halo Reach. So we just need to edit this. So just go ahead and double click on it. 
and it should load in this. The first thing that we need to do is update the achievement count since we added an achievement. So I'm just gonna go ahead and increase that by one. Um, achievements unlocked, we didn't unlock any more achievements so that can remain the same, same thing with this. Um, gamer score unlocked, we don't need to change but we do need to update the gamer score total. We added another achievement and the gamer score for that achievement was one. So we just need to increment this by one. But if you made the gamer score for that achievement like 99,000, you just have to add 99,000 to this. All right, and that's all that you have to do. Just update the gamer score total and the achievement count. And once you've done that, you can just go ahead and press save. All right, and that's it, you're done. Now all that we need to do is just re-inject these uh, two GPDs back into our profile so that we see the changes um, take effect. So just go back into Horizon, uh, you can close out of the title ID finder, and uh, just go back and replace the dashboard GPD with a modded one. So we'll just replace it with the one on my desktop. And we're also gonna wanna replace the Halo Reach one. And that is 453085B. So this is the Halo Reach one and we just need to replace it with the modded one. All right, and then once you've just uh, re-injected those, you can go ahead and save, rehash, and resign. And you're done. Just go ahead and plug your hard drive or USB um, back into your Xbox and you should see a new achievement uh, under Halo Reach. All right, so at the end of this video, I'll just post a screenshot of that so that I'm proving to you that it actually works. All right, so see you guys.